This for one of Earth's natural marvels, the Australian government has downgraded its outlook on the Great Barrier Reef. Sven is here to explain. Yeah, did you know the Great Barrier Reef is the largest living organism on the planet? Yeah, it is. It's also in great danger. Already many parts of the reef are dying due to a warming planet. The hotter the water becomes, the more coral bleaching occurs. That's because as water warms, coral eject the algae, which provide it with food source. A vast amount of life from fish to rays to sharks all depend on the reef for survival. There is a slight glimmer of hope, though. A recent NOAA study found that uh, corals are adapting to warm oceans, but the real question is, can those corals adapt fast enough to uh, keep up with the pace of climate change. So uh, what happens here is in particularly warm years, you get massive coral bleaching events. So mm -hmm. it's not this steady line, just kind of yeah. like our climate is. You get these years like 2017, uh, and then several years before that, there was another big uh, coral bleaching event, and they're expecting one uh, any time now that could do more massive damage. So it's right now it's the northern part of the reef first because that's where the water is warmer, closer to the equator. So it's gradually making its way south. Yeah, and when you see like time lapse photos or before and after mm -hmm. of a bleached coral reef and what it was before, the vibrant colors and all the wildlife yeah. in it, it really uh, yeah hits home. Yeah, so I was there in December this last year, and the part of the reef I was on was in that transitional phase where you saw bleached corals and live ones oh. next to it. Yeah. And it's a stark difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Ben.